the mask. Orc versus Night Owl. 147 and 105. Good luck, have fun. He's rank 800. We are rank 29 now. A development that I was not aware of yet, because I was bottlenecked at rank 62 for a while. But I think we've been tr playing a little bit more tryhard, a little bit less random races, and so it has developed. Holy cow, that's a huge mic in your face. Don't worry, it's not in my face. There's a good 15 centimeters between. So against uh, Night Elf on Twisted Meadows, they have a good six different locations that they can basically mercenary, uh, I mean Ancient of War creep right away. The three basic ones, which is the orange ones in the middle. Uh, so we check for that. And then there is the uh, more risky path that we saw attempted yesterday by Internazionale, who went for the Merc Camp with Warden. Remember that? I was bottom right and we tower rushed him afterwards at tier one because we stole the boots of Quelthalas. And then there's the mercenary camp creep as well, which is possible. So we're gonna go past all these in the most efficient round possible. Uh, opting to actually ignore the scouting of main bases as that doesn't give us the immediate information that we require. So we just go past this one, then we go past this one. Both of those cover for eventualities that he is in the top left location, but it is too far to send the peon there. And that keeps us the closest to go straight to this orange camp. Um, and by that time, we will be too late to the final orange camp. So we actually send our peon to the top right right afterwards to see if he is not doing any inch of war creeping and in fact going for a Huntress opening, in which case I would want to know if he's here. He could in theory be there. And we send our Blade Master to the final remaining location, windwalking already prematurely, just in case he is going to be there. And, uh, that way we can potentially do some harassment on one of these camps. Now, we find out in the end that he is in the top left location with a Huntress opener, not Ancient of War. So we're going to send our Blady Blade over here. And... By circlet, and we're not going to waste our time entirely. But he found us, so we buy dust, we wait here, we let him get damaged, and we can re-engage. Now, we're going to make another peon because uh, we're gonna lose that peon in his base probably but there is value in sending it uh, i'm sending it on purpose of course uh, because i want to see his opening and maybe we can keep it in his base for a while nice that's justice that is called justice we uh we do the difficult task of being uh, an orc player, so we deserve all the experience tones that, that this world has to offer us. We're gonna send our Blade Master home now to, uh, uh, of course, smartly dodging the Demon Hunter, so smart. Um, we're gonna send our Blade Master not home, because he will expect that. Instead, we're gonna make use of the final time before Ultra Vision is researched with a Huntress on place. Yes. I thank you. The available roaming distance. I like you. Wishing you a wonderful night. Yo, thanks, Greetings man. from Germany. Thank you, Linus. Anyway, we're going to use the final time that is allowed to us on the map to uh, creep something before Ultra Vision Huntresses starts to put us on lockdown. We're also going to send this gr grunt home as safety. Close up that. Uh, we may not be able to finish it up, especially if our peon shows us where we uh, actually are so we're gonna send this peon around again uh, to check if maybe he's gonna make ancient of wonders and but most of all to, to have these huntresses go somewhere else go away huntresses and this was successful now we think that he we're gonna also make a war mail by the way we think that he uh, bought this boots and it's true so okay whatever let's go back to heal we're going to not get any info because he killed it with the Huntresses. We'll go get Healing Soul. One is enough for now because we don't really have grand ambitions anymore about creeping. Uh, creeping patterns. There really isn't that much attraction to try and creep anymore when the opponent has Huntresses. Because with Ultra Vision they basically have perfect information. Uh, they can just put their Huntresses 
in your base, in theory, and uh, ultra vision it up. Uh, you will not get any useful creeping done. What we can do is get our second experience turn, and we will gladly do so. Freaking broken, never lucky, no second XP turn, please. Anyway, that's fine. Yes. Um, yes. We're gonna do a small camp. It's not safe to do more. We'll make a bestiary. Our war mill is finishing. We're gonna upgrade uh, Berserker strength. We're gonna delay any spirit lords for now, as we don't want to get it cancelled. And there's a few things we need to be concerned about: uh, potential ancient protector rush. Uh, potential second inch of war that he could have made, which uh, would lead to him creeping faster than we would otherwise expect. But he's doing no such thing. He did not buy boots of speed either. So what I'm going to do is I'll say I don't make my lodge yet. I don't care. I'm going to get armor upgrade instead. This is useful against whatever he does. Uh, he's level one. I have no pressure to creep. I'm level 2.7, which is just an amazing result for now. We're gonna get a free wisp before we get scouting info, so we can use our wind walk. Uh, he did not cancel on time, even though he had time. We now know that he has keeper, which means he's going for dryads or bears for sure. Um, we, we saw the building, and it is double ancient of lore. Note that he has not yet started his uh, tech to. Uh, tier 3 which can only mean one thing that he's actually serious about making dryads at this moment another thing that could be the case is that he is going for an expansion which is why i'm sending my blade master around in some of the more obvious tree of life building locations now we know that he's very unlikely to have an ancient of war somewhere on the map that would uh, want to go creeping so actually it is uh, not easy for him to creep i also took the most attractive Creep location, which is uh, his orange camp. And we basically don't have to leave our base. I don't think he's creeping anything. Maybe he did this one. That's fine. I already did before. So he would only be catching up. And what I'm doing here is preventing myself from losing any uh, units to creeps at all. Uh, to, to him at all. And he did indeed do a camp. We're gonna just cancel this. Yeah, he did my orange camp, I'm almost certain of it. Now keep in mind that I'm level 3 blade, so scouting becomes really easily. Uh, becomes re really e easy now. Oh, look. Yeah, he's like, oh, most orcs always leave their base. Like, no, actually, I'm not going to leave my base. Uh, so you're not going to be able to do any damage to me. He's like desperately trying to kill an altar, but we don't really care about that. Yes, I can do it. We care a little. I am yours. my power. We're gonna get hex. We're under attack. We're gonna cancel a moonwell maybe. And then we're just gonna go make Kodos and finally get that spirit launch. No losses, it's just fine. Yes, I am yours. Taste the my Yes! Okay, that's just fine. Now that he has left us, we will do the go Goblin Shock Creep, for which we will need our Blade Master. He, there's no way that he can get to me fast enough to creep check me for that. Creep check me for, yeah, there, I think. Um, note that we saw that he's going for tier 3. This means that uh, he will be going for bears and going to buy invulnerability. Uh, I'm gonna drop my dust with Shadow Power. Oh. I might not sell it. Where the hell is this super guy? I just do a little bit of a fight. Excellent choice. 
Ready to ride. We are enemies beside you. Yes. And we will kill his final yes, unit. And it's all good. And then we're gonna make um I am the oh. What do you want? Yes, Lord. Use my so this was very good trade for us, even though he killed the Kodo, which kind of was upsetting. Oh, hello. He wanted to staff that, which does leave him behind here. Can we capitalize? I think we can. Nice. Yes, Deacon. Now we kill the shop, which will cripple him a little bit. I am yours. Yes. Poor Kodo. Say the word. Work complete. Yes, Lord. Yours. I am yours. Are you hero and obey? We are enemies. Hiding. What trouble? Word I am there. I dreamed of me. I am yours. Yes, Chieftain. Word I am there. Just uh, link up a bit more. He's uh, out of um, everything. We just heal up our blade master out of combat a little bit, and then we can go back and we can uh, just uh, send one grunt to his death. He will have a noble death. That's all that any orc can hope for, really. Um, we made a few mistakes then, fine, okay? We didn't have our peons with us. It was kind of an opportunity fight that I took, and once I started it, I was too busy to really reevaluate my options. But basically, you never want to have fights like that. You want to wait for your peons, and you want to wait for a heal scroll. But we have set it up so that we will 100% sure win the follow up fight. Because there's no shop, no Moonwell juice. So it's easy. We just uh, get level 3 Shadow Hunter or Mana Potion or something like this. We're gonna find him most likely at um, the Mercenary camp. Does he see me? He does not. So we just get a heal scroll and then we go to the Mercenary camp. Uh, we're not level 3 Shadow yet, but whatever. I think he will be here. He could be on the laboratory as well, but he is in fact here. No, no, stop grouping. Not good for him that he did the uh, most obvious creep camp that I also predicted already. Of course, he doesn't know that I predicted it, but yeah. Anyway, that worked out well for us. Excellent choice. Yes. And then we can just tower it. We have eaten two bears. We killed a lot of his stuff. Easy peasy. Is it Link? No. Let's Link it. And then we'll just heal scroll to save a single unit, which is just fine. We can heal solve it. Oh, wrong one. Say the word. Yes, 
Good peons, good blade master, and good game. We didn't have pillage, or did we? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. We killed his, we killed him. So. <laughs> I know you guys always like the peon movements. Three GBG. <laughs> Get him, boys. When you think about it, you guys are all peons too. So it is very much uh, identifying with it. When you think about it, I'm nothing but a peon too. Because uh, I play game after game. But, you know, in our hearts, we are all war chiefs as well. This is crazy! Yes, Scroll the beast! He yes, has no sir. coils anymore! Yes, sir. I am yours! What you want? What task is there? Yes. Huh? Lol. Oh. One more fiend and I'm out. I am yours. Wait, he has coils soon. Yes, sir. What you want? What Scroll of the beast, so much value. Huh? Time for uh, maybe we can I get a level attack. 3 from this. In which case, the fun yes. would go on. What you want? What task is there? I like that quick scroll. Oh. Yes, 